Hello, my name's Nick Cunniffe. I'm the Education Officer of the British Society for Plant Pathology. I'm also a lecturer in Mathematical Biology and Plant Disease Epidemiology at the University of Cambridge. I'm here to describe how the British Society for Plant Pathology, the BSPP, supports education and in particular to talk about the lockdown bursary scheme that we ran this year. So in general, the society is very active in supporting education in plant pathology. We do a lot of outreach work and um, work developing curricular materials for school students. But in terms of our financial support, mainly what we have funded today is we provide a fund for people who are doing master's degrees to help support that. And every year around 10 to 20 students do summer projects. These projects are targeted at undergraduate students and the idea is that by working with a supervisor in a university or a research institute around the UK that they they gain experience in skills to do with plant pathology and try to identify whether research in plant pathology is a career area that they'd like to think about in the future. So this year with the summer projects, it became apparent, I guess in mid-March, that it might not be possible to run um, the summer projects in the way we believed at the time they were written. So we thought about whether there was a way that we could be more expansive in our support and we introduced the idea of the lockdown bursary. So the idea here was a variable length project which could be done remotely. So the student would be working again with an academic um, on a particular topic, but they'd be able to do that in their, uh, their own location. So the sorts of topics that could be covered include things like mathematical modelling and bioinformatics and literature review topics which do not require access to a laboratory. I should also say that in actual fact a lot of the undergraduate projects as originally designed could go ahead because the universities and research institutes made it possible for students to enter the labs in a way we couldn't foresee in March. In overview, we funded 13 of these bursaries. Um, they lasted from four weeks to 10 weeks long. We were able to support projects which were done in different countries. So there were projects done in Ireland, there was a project done in the Philippines, and there were a lot done in the UK. The topics covered range from mathematical modelling, so a mathematical modeller and I had a, a student by this scheme um, to literature review to bioinformatics and as far as we can tell the students have really enjoyed the experience. However I could say this and it may not be very sincere, I think it's better to hear from the students themselves. So we've asked the students to prepare videos about their experiences and they're available on this site. Thanks.